Tonight on Channel 6 News at 5. Making the school year safer. I'm Cole Johnson and coming up we'll explain the security improvements happening here in the Colleen School District. Then a medical emergency at football practice leads to the death of a 13 year old student. Plus, can Heidi Alaga milk her way to another job in this week's Hiring Heidi? Channel 6 News starts right now. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Imani Payne. Chris and Leslie are on assignment. We begin tonight with new information coming out of Fort Hood regarding reports of an active shooter on post. We have confirmed with Fort Hood officials that that information is false and there is no active shooter. Fort Hood tells us it was a false alarm and that everyone is safe. Again, reports of an active shooter on Fort Hood this evening are false. You can head to our website KCENTV.com for more information. A man is behind bars tonight after authorities raided his massage parlor and home. According to the McLennan County Sheriff's Office, there were two women living inside and they say conditions were not good. Channel 6 News reporter Jasmine Caldwell is live at the Sun Orchid Spa where all of this happened and has more on the alleged illegal activity that was going on inside. Jasmine. Well, Imani, reporting live in Waco, Jasmine Caldwell, Channel 6 News. All right, thanks, Jasmine. Well, we are getting fired up for the Summer Sizzle. It's the annual social event of the year where you can even win a chance to do the weather with Channel 6's Andy Anderson. Channel 6 anchors Leslie Draffin and Chris Radcliffe are joining us from the Wildflower Country Club right here in Temple where the festivities are taking place. And guys, you don't even need to register to attend, right? Yeah, thank you so much. A minute's back to you, Imani, inside right, the studio. thanks, guys. Authorities need your help tracking down a woman wanted by the Bell County Sheriff's Department for allegedly forging checks. The Sheriff's Department says the woman with the I have issue shirt on is one of three people accused of using several forms of identification and altered checks. The other two suspects have been identified, so if you know who this woman is, contact police. And in Taylor, three high school seniors were arrested after they were allegedly overheard discussing plans to launch an attack at school using explosives and firearms. The boys, all 17, attend Taylor High School. Investigators say students heard the three teens discussing the attack and went and told a school resource officer. The teens were taken to the Williamson County Jail to remain in custody tonight. Colleen ISD is upping security measures for the new school year with more police officers and electronic door locking systems at every high school. Superintendent Dr. John Kraft says the district increased its police force by 17% and installed those locking systems at all four regular high schools and most elementary schools. Kraft says it's not just up to the school to keep students protected. Everything we can to ensure the safety of, of our students, but parents can also help in that effort. Uh, just simply having conversations, understanding what students are, are doing on a daily basis and into the evening uh, really goes a long, long way. Kraft said the district was also installing identification badge readers at the high school campuses to allow the district to keep the exterior doors locked throughout the day. A 13 year old middle school student has died after a medical emergency during football practice. Crawley Independent School District Superintendent said in a letter to parents that coaches performed CPR yesterday on the eighth grader until paramedics arrived. The boy was declared dead at the hospital. It's not yet clear why he died. Crawley is just south of Fort Worth. Hurricane Lane continues to inch closer to the Hawaiian Islands. Right now, a state of emergency is in place, and President Trump has signed a disaster declaration, bracing for what the National Weather Service says will be catastrophic effects from the violent storm. Jay Gray is in Honolulu with the latest. Jay Gray, NBC News, Honolulu. Lane continues to track towards the shore. Early bands of rain from the monster storm are expected in the next couple of hours. Well, the 2017 Central Texas State Fair and Rodeo is coming up next weekend, and fair organizers are busy getting everything ready for the three-day event. A press conference was held this afternoon at the Bell County Expo Center for people to discuss the fair. Some of the activities include bull riding, vendors, and live music. There will also be livestock shows and a carnival for the kids. The fun kicks off August 30th. And make sure to tune in tonight for our pigskin preview right here on Channel 6 starting at 630. We'll highlight dozens of high school football games from across Central Texas. 
Sports director Nick Canizales, along with weekend sports anchor Jessica Mori and reporter Curtis Quillen, went across the area interviewing coaches and players as they get ready for the season. Well, still to come on Channel 6 News at 5, Chris and Leslie will have more from the summer sizzle. Hey, who's ready to sizzle? We